Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Let's talk today about the real link in VR upgrades. If you have an VR, you need to upgrade the firmware. It's pretty simple. There are different ways to do it. As you can see here, I have a web browser. You can do via web browser. You also can use the real link client app. You can upgrade the firmware here. Or the third way is to use the NVR interface. As you can see here, I have the interface. You can come directly here to settings. And there's also a way to upgrade here on system and maintenance okay different ways for this one you need to use a usb drive or if you want to use your computer you don't need the usb drive you just need to use the web browser download the firmware and upload the firmware to your nvr to up upgrade it okay let me start with this way that you use a web browser let's come here to this web browser and when i come to settings system i have the option here for more here we go and firmware upgrade okay so to upgrade that way you need to use a firmware and you just click here browse and you look for the firmware on your computer so you have to download the firmware first and then you can do this upgrade okay a different way is using the real link app on the real link app you have a, an alternative to that you come here to the real link app you click on the nvr come to system and here maintenance a little bit different but you can come to maintenance and check for the latest version here, okay? As you can see, the NVR already connected to the internet and says that the new version is available. But pay attention to this because the version is 3.0.0.148. That's the one that NVR is offering me to upgrade, but I don't want to upgrade with this one because I know that in the website I have a better version. A newer version okay if i cancel here as you can see i have 300148 if i cancel and check the version that i have in the nvr right now is the 000123 but if i come to the website here in the real link.com i can come to support and download center i can look for my nvr let me check here for nvr and my version is the rln 8410 Okay, and here, hardware version. I need to specify which version I have. Three different versions here. You need to check yours for my NVR, for example. And when I come here to the info, I see that the N3MB01. Be careful with that because you need the correct version to download your firmware, okay? So I come here back, I select the version, and I search. And then I see that the firmware is 3.10211. It's a newer version compared to the one that the Real Link app is offering me, okay? So I prefer to download the firmware and upgrade myself instead of letting the NVR do here in, uh, in this automatic way because it's offering me an old version, okay? So let me just download from the website. Click here and download firmware. Continue to download. It's going to download the zip file. I just need to unzip it. So I click here, extract the folder. And let me just open the folder. Here we go. The downloads already unzip it. And here I have the file. So it's this dot BAK file. Okay. That's the one you need to update your NVR to upgrade the firmware. And here there are some instructions from Real Link. And Real Link talks about firmware upgrade here but here they're just talking about the upgrade via the, the NVR interface using USB okay I don't know why they don't talk about upgrade via web browser or via real link client but it is what it is I have this option and now I'm going to use them right let me just come back here to my NVR so here on more I can browse and look for my download folder, my real link folder, and here we go with this file. Just click open. And now I need to up upgrade it. Just click here. And next, and device is upgrading. Now I just need to wait. And the device is going to power off and power on, meaning it's going to restart after the up upgrade. Okay, so I'm upgrading the firmware here and it's taking too long to move from the screen. So what I realized is that when I look at the screen of the NVR directly in the interface, I see that apparently it's 
it's done. The upgrade is done, right? Because it's asking me for continue. I have a next button here, but in the web browser, it still keeps saying that it's upgrading. Okay, it, it, it's there forever. So what I'm going to do is just come here to the interface and continue, right? So I can just hit next. And also I need to change the time zone and everything else here. So basically it's coming back to, to default. So I need to uh, set up everything again here, date and time, things like that, and make it work that way, okay? And create the password. So here you go, you entered the password twice, hit next. And then you can set up password security question if to retrieve the password. So let's just put one here. Here we go, hit next. And then the hard drive here, I can format the hard drive if I want to. I don't want to do this right now. I'm gonna keep my videos. And here we go, IP address, the same. I leave everything the same, hit next. I'm not gonna set up email right now, so hit next and it's done. And now I have to configure my cameras all over again because then VR lost all the information about the camera because it was reset, right? So it updated firmware and reset. Now I need to put all the information about the cameras again and I'm good to go. And here we go, I insert the password for every single camera. I have all of them here again, directly on the NVR interface. And let me just come back now to the web browser. I still see this screen here upgrading forever. And I just need to refresh and come back to the main screen. And let me just click here and say that I want to just load this page. And I have a new interface now, pretty nice. Okay, I just need to log in again. And here we go, I have the firmware upgrade, the NVR is working with the new interface, and I hope this can fix some issues with the real link, bugs, and things like that, all right? So that's all for today. If you like this video, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel, leave a thumbs up and your comments, and I see you in the next one.